Hi, this is Father Dan Cassis, and um, we're going to have our fourth day of our Novena to the Holy Spirit. Today's virtue that's focused upon is, or the fruit of the Holy Spirit that's focused upon is patience, which is also a virtue. But it's also a fruit of the Holy Spirit uh, living within us. Um, patience is little had oftentimes, especially in these days when everyone's been so cooped up and uh, constrained. Uh, we want to keep people in our prayers. I've had to uh, deal with people who are at death's doorstep as a result of the COVID most recently. And um, so we're not out of the woods just quite yet. But thanks be to God, things are beginning to open up a little bit more. And um, um, patience is, uh, is a little had virtue by many. Um, it's especially difficult to be patient sometimes with family members or with close friends, or sometimes for pastors with parishioners, parishioners with pastors. But it's something that uh, we should always kind of check ourselves. We find ourselves kind of going off a little bit uh, upset or angry or something like this. And uh, it's not good to be in conflict with others um, in an unending sense. So patience is a good virtue. Patience is good. Very, very good. And I hope that we all have patience. Today also is Memorial Day. Uh, I hope you've had a wonderful time with your families and that, uh, or with friends. And if not, that you've had a wonderful time, uh, uh, perhaps giving a little bit extra time to the Lord and uh, that you've had an opportunity to uh, be grateful for all of those who have given so much uh, that we may live in freedom. We never want to let freedom go, our way of life. Uh, and uh, whether it's a pandemic or whether it's a, an invading army, uh, we don't want to give up our freedom um, in an unlimited sense. So there's a real balance that needs to be struck. So um, let's be grateful and let's offer our novena prayer today for all of the men and women uh, who have given the ultimate sacrifice that we may live in freedom in our armed forces throughout the history of our United States of America. And for those of you who have lost loved ones or perhaps those who have been wounded or ill affected by uh, combat and service to, to the country and the military, um, these prayers are especially for you and for your families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us bow down in humility at the power and grandeur of the Holy Spirit. Let us worship the Holy Trinity and give glory today to the paraclete, our advocate. O Holy Spirit, by your power, Christ was raised from the dead to save us all. By your grace, miracles were performed in Jesus' name. By your love, we are protected from evil. And so we ask with humility and a beggar's heart, for your gift of patience within us. O Holy Spirit, you give lavishly to those who ask. Please give us the patience of the saints who are now with you in heaven. Help us to endure everything with an eternal patience that is only possible with your help. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you and keep you in his peace, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.